and gentlemen, Damon the Dog, Barry, Boss, Rudin, and we are set for the first fight of the night. This one, a heavyweight bout again. Eight uh, uh, middleweight fighters will try to advance the final conflict, but this one of three heavyweights, Fedor, the champ, going against Gary Goodrich, Boss. Yep, and here we have Gary Goodrich. You couldn't understand when the Japanese announcer announced it, but I'm explaining for you people at home, Gary Goodrich. And look at these eyes. Cold as eyes. We wait. And there he is. And there in the back. He was wearing the belt, but we cannot see it anymore. Well, Fedor obviously took that championship from Minotera Noguera earlier in body blow March of this year. And of course, now going against Big Daddy Goodrich would like to again talk baby let me let people know i'm still the man i'm the champ and you know a lot of people say until you beat somebody like big daddy somebody of the again i won't use the term old school because he doesn't <laughs> like it uh, oh no but until you beat the veteran you haven't really owned the floor yet you're absolutely right this fight is going to be very exciting all right again. i told you three times now this is not going the distance i'm telling you Watch. One minute's first round, and if we go to rounds two and three, five minutes apiece, how quickly do you see it going on to the ground, boss? Um, I, I see it on the feet. Staying on the feet. They are the staying on their feet. They touch gloves now. That's some respect right there. And they are obviously just going to test each other out quickly, but there's a couple of left hooks followed by a right by Fedor, now throwing combinations. Big Daddy with a couple of blocks, but then a right hand lands. A right oh, look at him. Look at the body shots. Body Uppercuts shots. to the body. It looks like Goodrich is okay. Maybe one punch got to him as Gary clinches now. He tries to bring him into the center. Oh, a nice knee. knee and a takedown. This is where he is dangerous. A left knee and a takedown back to back by Fedor. And obviously, as you said, this is a dangerous situation yes, for Big Daddy. If somebody in the world can hit from this position, it's Emilianenko Fedor. That position being the closed guard that Goodrich has got him in now. And as you can see, he is taking a couple of left hands to the body here. But no doubt, uh, ground and pound. He is dangerous from here, is the champion Fedor. And there's an example of it. Right hand, right hand, right hand. To the head, to the head. Oh, this is going to be over. This does not look like it's going to go long at this pace. And now he's doing the hammer fist down. Big Daddy in big trouble. Kick. It is. It looks like he is out. It looks like he is out. There it is. There it is. There it is. I told you, this is not going the distance. Submission with strikes so quickly, I did not see it ending that fast. Unbelievable, I told you. Many times, they're both very powerful. I think the shots in the beginning of the fight hurt him a little bit because that was the reason that he got taken down, and there it was, ground and pound. 109 with strikes off the first round. There is no doubt that is a surprise. Perhaps not that it ended, but it ended so quickly in the first round. Unbelievable. Fedor obviously was ready to go here. He has cut. You can see some blood from the mouth coming of Big Daddy Gary Goodrich, who's got to be very disappointed. He said again he wasn't in his best cardiovascular shape coming into this one. That was probably, in his estimation, his fight against Mark Hunt, but really felt stronger. Whoa, and ready there to is go. the There's left the first to the head. Left. It looked like perhaps a headbutt oh. might have gone to his to his chin there as well and perhaps that cut the lip but as you can see a lot of these combinations that straight right hand that hook every push they were all getting in right here he was able to block a few and then the hammer the hammer the ground and the pound kick, the kick in the to head. The head right there yes daddy goodrich oh, loses one minute and nine seconds in the first round what do you think of this well i think that kick to the head reminded me of that oh. night in vegas baby that was ugly no doubt about it back of the head to the front of the face I am just shocked, boss, that it did not go further than 109 of the first round. Unbelievable. And you can see those blows to the head were not being defended by Goodrich. He was obviously hurting at that point. So the champion moves on. He obviously retains that belt with a convincing win over Gary Big Daddy Goodrich. That our first of three heavyweight belts tonight. The fight we have coming up will be one of the four fights between eight middleweight fighters who are looking to advance in total elimination 2003 to the final conflict that will be in November. 
So again, fight number one, 109, heavyweight champion Fedor able to KO, TKO Gary, Big Daddy Goodrich, and keep his crown as he is now posing. So next up is one of the biggest, no doubt about it, the biggest ones. What do you think is next on the list, though, before we get to it, for Fedor? I mean, who's next here? He obviously came back from getting a little stunned in his previous fight against Fujita, but he went on to win that. Who's next on his list? I really don't know, because, you know, the great thing about Pride Fighting Championships, we have so many great heavyweights. A rematch, of course, with Nogueira, that would never be... Uh, everybody would love to see that, but maybe tonight Rico Rodriguez is going to finish Nogueira. We don't know, and then maybe we want to see Rico Rodriguez against him. We have many, way more fights. It's, it's open. It's an open book. How many? We got like 12 heavyweights, and they're all super good.